I'm not researching any technology still. This might have to change, because if we're not expanding, we can't stall our technology research for too long. Another, another maybe, another four or five turns, we'll see how it goes. See, if the Geats would turn against them, they've got, look, they've got armies right on the shore. I wonder if they'll take money. I'm going to try again, actually, with them. Just keep trying. Because they've got armies right there on the border. If they would just, boom, go against them. Problem solved. Problem solved. Whew, God, this campaign is... I think this has definitely been the... Quite a tense campaign. Oh, the British are coming. Where are they going? British? Ah, British! Okay, British. I like the Brits. <laughs> Naturally. I like the Brits. Come on, Brits. Come on down. Send your troops down. Come on down. You want to join the war against the damn Gauls? For Come on in. Welcome. Have a party. No, oh, damn. Don't have a party. Fine. Geets. Giti giti. We have need of talk. Come on. So, we also need You know you want to warm fire and warm women. Let's have a look at this. I'm just intrigued. Two thousand gold smackers? No, still low. Wow. Alright. Defensive alliance then, fine. Defensive Oh, moderate. So we, if we can just get this defensive alliance increase the relationship a bit more. Maybe turn it to military alliance. Are we going a bit overkill here? I don't want to be dragged into any of their wars. And they are stuck at war with the Danes. They don't like the Danes and... Uh, mm, I might leave it for now. I might leave it. <sighs> I can't make my bloody mind up. 15, so they've recruited one unit in the last turn. I'm certainly not gonna, I'm not, certainly not going to go down and attack them in their in their homelands. It would be foolish to do that. I'm relying on them coming to us, so that we have the the protection of our own garrison, and that, you know we're, we're, they're fighting us in the seat of our strength, which makes more sense. Um. You know what, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I really don't want to be dragged into any of their walls, to be honest with you. But I think it might be beneficial in the long run. It might be. So here's the geese. Let's try the Greetings defensive alliance. Friend. They have accepted. I will take word of our agreement and put it before my people. They will feast in celebration. Ooh! Deteriorating with the picks quite rapidly. Oh, 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 oh. This is looking bad. Oh, oh, oh. The picks are coming. If they attack us at the same time as the goals, we could be in a bit of trouble. Anyway, we have a defensive alliance with these people, which is going to increase our relationship even further, which is nice. Very friendly and improving. Now let's see if we can ask them to join the war against the Gauls. No. But because they are now our defensive allies, we can try and set a war coordination target. Here. They don't have to accept, but let's see if they do. In fact, are you even going to entertain Greetings a full-blown military alliance? Called for good ale to ease your throat no. And... All right. Vandals, you want to trade? We will gladly listen to your offers. No. Nope. Do not wrap. So diplomacy is done. So we've got the war coordination target set. At their homelands. They've got some troops right here. So if they do accept, they might just go pew and save us the job. So we'll have to wait and see. Look at that, that's coming down quite heavily here, and we've still got some more ships to recruit. Three more, that's another 300. We're going to be less than 500 per turn income, which is going to slow us down, but that's going to have to be fine for now. Right, okay. 
It's just the old waiting game then, isn't it really? There's nothing else we can do other than wait and watch. Wait and watch. I'm going to take him a little bit further south. He's still, he's still in our region, but try and get a bit more line of sight. Tense times. We now share a common enemy with our allies. War coordination target. Let me just check that out. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who are they? They're at war with the Danes, aren't they? Oh, the Western Romans. The common ally that we, the common, the common enemy that we have is, with these guys is the Western Roman Empire. So I'm thinking that the war coordination target for them to accept it would have to be against the Western Romans. They don't share Gaul as an enemy, so they, this probably won't work. We'll try it for nothing though. We'll try it for note. Here they come. Oh, no, that's the Geats. Well, they're not going towards the goal, so I don't think they're accepted. <laughs> I don't think it's a valid target, to be honest, but there you go. There goes our... There goes our... Uh, <laughs> there goes our saviours, sailing away. Don't go! Come back! We need you! Just help us! We're, a, we're a people in need of assistance. Go on, Britain. Go do some damage. Gewis has ranked up. Wow. Unseasonal conditions. A bad winter. That's great. What does that give us? Gives us extra squalor and extra wealth, funnily enough. Extra squalor. Great. Let's have another disease. Come on, just to kick me in the balls while I'm down. Let's have another one. The Black Death. Everybody dies and we all... Sorry. It's all doom and gloom at the moment. Okay. How many troops now? Fifteen? One? I don't think... I think they've been stopped in their tracks, you know. I think they've been stopped in their tracks. They're not recruiting anymore. The ships are staying staying as they are. I wonder if we're getting a bit overcautious here. What do you think, guys? you think I'm being overcautious? They've only got one garrison ship. This is a large garrison. This is the largest garrison I've seen for a while. <laughs> Diddly dee. War coordination target. Did they accept? It doesn't say. Did it? It should say if they accept. I just don't know if it's a valid target. It's not saying anything. It's not saying anything. Still highlighted. What do the geeks think of those guys? Unfriendly. Can we like, officially drag you into this war eventually? Now that you're friends with Welcome, us a bit more? Worthy friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before okay. words. That's fine. I think it's safe to assume they're not going to join. I'm going to stand here. I say stand. No, I'm not going to stand there. I'm going to stand here with this ship. Put the zone of control to block passage. There's only two ways to get... I think there's only two ways to get onto the here. As far as I can tell, if they want to land their troops in our land, they're going to have to either land them here... Ready for orders. They're going to have to land them here, or land them on here, or there. So they have to land on this side of the island, which means, as far as I can tell... Yeah, look, you've got to land them from this side. If they want to send their troops towards us, they're going to have to send their boats up and get through this. So this is giving us a little bit of added protection from them landing any troops on our land here. But it's expensive. It's This this fleet here is, is crippled our income and it crippled our economy. So if we want to turn our attentions and forget about these guys and think, you know what, forget about these guys, they're not going to cause us any problems, let's just leave them be. And if we're going to if we're gonna go down that line, then we have to disband these, or at least lessen them a little bit. Because we ain't going to be able to expand earning 300 per turn. 
So effectively, we're going to have to make a choice. Take down the Gauls, then move on to Britannia, or forget the Gauls and move on to Britannia. Hey, hey, hey. Let's rank you with what I'm thinking. I know this is not probably the most exciting of viewing, but I hope you can appreciate that uh, it's a rather tense time, and I hope you're enjoying the fact that I'm having to, to, to um and ah this much, and sort of I'm torn, and it's not a simple, simple campaign. I know some people are enjoying the fact that this is a more difficult campaign, and it's making it's making me have to really rack my brains. Anyway, we're going to give him extra two authority, which increases his public order by two, which negates this torturer trait, which will hopefully increase the public order of Britannia Superior just that little bit more. It's now plus 13, so the public order here is increasing rather rapidly. Okay, so uh, we're going to go for that. I know we can't really afford it right now, but we, we're we going to get it now whilst we can afford it. And then the next building that we go for is going to be the small city. Meanwhile, because we're not going to be building any more buildings for a while and we've already paid for this, we're going to now switch this to the Might of Tew to give us religious influence. We've got no... Germanic paganism here, uh, Germanic paganism here at all. So hopefully by in enacting this edict, this will slowly increase our Germanic paganism in this area. And then when we get some more building slots, we can put a temple into it, increase it even further. But it's a starter for 10. That should hopefully increase public order, and it would also lower the cost of having to convert this. Right, okay. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to wait a couple of more turns just to see what happens in terms of their numbers and in terms of their intentions uh, and then I'm going to have to make a choice. In fact, I might not even make the choice. I might just end the session and uh, sort of convene with my war council and see what you guys think. Should we take them on in their homeland and risk decimating our forces? Because this would be a very tough nut to crack. Or should we just ignore them and uh, turn our attentions north and, and, and pretend they're not there? Which could also be a, it could be a very uh, foolish thing to do, but I'm just wondering if the fact that they are now at war with the Franks and the Langobards, they might just have to, as I said, they might just have to be a bit more cautious about how they go about their business. Oh, 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 wait a second! <laughs> wait a minute! Is that my good friends, my defensive allies, the Geats, sailing down back? towards uh, the land of the Gauls. Okay, let's keep an eye on that. Let's keep an eye. Because if they definitely attack them and weaken them, then we should definitely finish, on, finish them off. Okay. I'm getting rather excited here. This could be... The, this could be something. Yes, it looks like they're making a move. It looks like they might be making a move. And if that is the case, we certainly want to be going over to offer our assistance. Maybe not with our armies, but we could certainly take our fleet within, re without, within reinforcement range and just give them that added extra bonus. They're not going to do a great deal, but they, they can at least assist, you know, show good willing and all that. We don't want to be seen to be leaving them to do the job on their own. We want to lend a, a helping hand and show willing, so this could be interesting here. So from a bad winter to a good spring, that's good. Extra growth and cheaper agricultural building cost. The growth is welcome. We're going up to level 3. We need level 4 to upgrade that. I might actually wait until level 5 to upgrade this. I'm more interested in upgrading this, to be honest with you. Oh, Gewis is respectful. This is quite good, actually. If we look at this, if we look at this, it's... So in addition to having the Might of Two in Britannia Superior, he now has Respectful, which also gives an extra plus two to state religion conversion, which further increases the fact and quickens the pace that we convert the populace over to Germanic Paganism. That's really, really handy indeed. Very handy, I like that. Well done, Gewis. 
You are a respectful torturer. We will torture you in a respectful manner. We will keep your dignity intact, but you will still feel horrendous pain. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. And uh, just to keep in the spirit of things, it's our yearly embezzlement funds time. Once per, once per year we embezzle a bit of funds. We certainly do need them at a time of war, I have to say. Um, he's got his new wife, he's loving life, he just needs to have a child, that's fine. Okay, so that's the old political situation taken care of. This army is pretty much ready to rock and roll. This army, a couple more turns, will be pretty much ready to rock and roll. I mean, if we go... We, I wonder if we can actually afford to send an army down as well. Maybe put the army on the fleet, send the fleet and the army down within reinforcement range. They're suffering attrition for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe they have a disease. Uh, oh, this is so... This is so tense. This is so tight. Horse has gained a rank. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready, folks. This is probably going to be one of the last turns of the session. We're fast approaching the hour mark. I know a great deal hasn't happened, but I'm hoping that you enjoyed the slight tentative nature of this, the balancing act. Or maybe you're just thinking, you stupid fool, you could take them down easily. You're being overly cautious here. I don't know. Since I have only suffered pain and misery in my previous campaigns, I'm very, very apprehensive when it comes to uh, when it comes to this game right now. Whereas in previous renditions, I've been rather confident I can just march on in with my legions and just crush you into the dust. This just doesn't have the same vibe. <laughs> and they ain't coming down. Here come the. Tell me that they ain't gonna pounce when I'm weak. What would we say about their leader? He's opportunistic. Maybe he's seen an opportunity right now. Ooh, the Saxons have matched their... Le the, matched their... Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Okay, things are developing here. Wait a minute. So we've got Wigbert. He has found his own wife. Well, why should we intervene? It's your wife. You do what you want. She's a bad wife. She lowers your cunning. But gives you extra influence. Well, if you want to marry her, who am I to intervene? I'm just the High King. <clears throat> You're not my family member, therefore I couldn't give two craps who you marry. So we intervened. I, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I didn't mean to intervene. I wanted to stop it. I wanted to let, him, let it go ahead. Never mind. She was no good for you anyway. Uh, ooh! Not only have we embezzled funds, but we have uh, returned with additional funds. Excellent job. Excellent indeed. Right, they're raiding here. I didn't ask you to raid. In fact, they're really weak. They're really weak. Fifteen. Where the hell are you going? Why are you sailing away? Why are you sailing away? Wigbert's ranked up. Excellent. Okay. And agent exposed. Ooh, that's our agent. We're not doing anything wrong. We're just looking. Look, but don't touch. That's my policy. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, right, I am going to probably maybe end one more turn just to see what happens, and then I'm going to end the session, and I'm going to look to you for your suggestions, because I'm beginning to think that these gauls, they ain't got too much. Apart from a rather large garrison and 15 units there, so what's that? 15... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 25. If we send our full stack navy, our full... Uh, full well, our navy combined with our army, combined with this army, together we can swarm them like a swarm of bees. Or maybe we just need to leave them be. Why are you raiding? He won't attack. I don't think he, he... He's not strong enough to attack, so he's coming down here. Gouty. Gouty? Is that their leader? Yeah, Gouty. He's 51. He looks good for his age, doesn't he? Look at his hair. Full head of hair at 51. He's doing something right. Um, Let's level this guy up. He's a fleet commander, isn't he? What's this? Unit experience, extra zeal, extra zeal's good right now if we're going to be going into, into a, an immediate battle. <coughs> I don't think he's going to attack because his army strength is just not, he's just not fully stocked, is he? He's just, so he's come down here to raid, just to call, in fact, who, who is he raiding? He's not raiding their lands, this is the desolate region. You're raiding a desolate region, you fool. I've come down here to assist you. I've come down here to, to offer my support and you, uh, you're, you're balking at the last minute, man. Meanwhile, back to London. You can take Camilla Dunham. You can take her in here. But you're not taking Londinium. No. Not upon pain of death. In fact, I wonder if we could... Hmm. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Right, one more turn. One more turn and then we have a choice to make. Come on, Geats, come on. This is your last chance. Oh, they've run off. Damn. <laughs> they've run off. Okay. Curses, curses. A thousand curses upon your house. A plague upon your house. A bloody plague. And the picks are, picks are going home. Good. Good riddance. They came. They saw. 
They didn't conquer. Did up oh, there they go. They're going back home. And they've moved! They've moved! Where they've moved to, I don't know, but they've moved away. I think they're turning their attentions elsewhere. I just think that they are thinking twice about coming to war with us. Oh, this could be an opportunity. Shut up, dog. I'm trying to concentrate here. If we could... They're, if they're in reinforcement range, this is still horrendous, but if they've gone out of reinforcement range, we could take this settlement and sack it, and, or raise it, or whatever we need to do with it. Because they're not a horde, they will then be in um, what you could what you may call it mode. <laughs> they will be in uh, attrition mode because they'll have lost their last settlement. It depends how far away they are. Do you think we could take this? If we do that and attack... Oh! Hey. How far has he moved away? Is he trying to lure me in? Is he trying to sucker me in? Oh, I'm, I don't know. Ah, this is a tense one. This is a tense one. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? We can attack it and then if it's overwhelmed we can retreat. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to be seen as a coward. I... Senrid! What would Senrid do? Your orders? I... Ah, this is a risk. It is a risk. It is a bloody risk. But it's a... is it a risk worth taking? Uh... E e a o full full army, decent fleet. He's far away. The army's moved out of reinforcement range potentially. How far can you come? He can't get anywhere near, can he? If we could just see where he'd gone. Oh. See, if I was playing single player campaign, I might be tempted just to save it attack it and then if it's negative reload it <laughs> but I can't do that here we can't do those tricks here in an LP there's no trickery there's no cheaty there's just good decisions and really bad decisions right come on come on come on let's try it let's try it. this is might, this might be a bit rash but I'm going to try in fact we could maybe just move a bit closer there's nothing to stop us from moving there's nothing to stop us from just simply moving to get a closer look. I'm not seeing anything here. I'm not seeing any reinforcements here. I'm uh, not seeing it. If we attack that, are we just blockading their port or can we attack their settlement? This is... I'm not completely sure how this works. Right, do you know what? Screw this. Oh! Look at this! Woo! We got them! We got them! Their army is out of reinforcement range. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The excitement. Right. These are Roman units. I'm attacking by... I don't think I'm attacking by sea anymore. I think I've landed and I'm attacking by land. But I really do think that if I was to attack this by, um, by, by me doing it on the battle map, I know, I know for certain, because I can't use my ships very well and stuff like that, I would lose far more men then the auto resolve. Although, after judging by the last performance at Carinium, that could be uh, argued. But I really think we can afford to screw this up because they do have a large army elsewhere nearby. So we need to preserve as much men as we can. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go for the auto resolve. I'm just going to go for balanced here. I, aggressive, I think, is too aggressive because they've got some decent archers. I think protective after last time is I'm a bit apprehensive about being protective. So I'm just going to go normal stance, balanced stance. Let's see if we can get this land gone. 371 men. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. I'm happy with that. raise <laughs> we do not want in fact we can sack it first to get the plunder then we can raise yeah is there nothing else yes there is something else we've taken their money we've taken their land now let's take everything else boom 
Enjoy the attrition, boys. I'm out of here. Adios, amigos. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. I can't quite vamoose onto the ships. Which means that their army is here. Their army is here. Ready and waiting. Fifteen units. My army is here. Ready and waiting. But I am backed up by my, uh, by my fleet if I need them. We can rank up. With Senrad, let's give him some extra zeal, an extra melee attack. Let's give him some extra melee defense. He's becoming quite the co competent commander here, is old Senrad, isn't he? Yes, he is. Oh my gosh. Right, so they are, as I said, they have lost their last land, which means that they are now suffering attrition because they are not a horde, and very shortly they will be whittled down into nothingness. But I have a feeling that in the next turn, they are probably going to attack this army in a last gasp effort. So we're going to leave that till next time to see what happens. But ultimately, I think it's safe to say that the threat of the Gauls has been significantly reduced due to Senrad. And of course, who's forgetting, or who's not forgetting, uh, Wigbert as well. So Senrad cementing his place even further as a very good member of this family, much to the chagrin of the bloody High King. But anyway, so we can finally turn our attention properly now to heading north. So once we've dealt with this last bit of Gaul threat down here, we're going to head back to Britannia, where we will replenish, retrain, disband the fleets so that our income increases, and then we can focus, like I intended at the start of this session, to turning to Britannia. Decisive victory. He gets second wind. He gains second wind level two. He's obviously ranked up. We sacked the settlement. We took the plunder. Then we raised it to the ground. Saxon style. <laughs> so join me next time when we shall hopefully see what the Gauls have left. See if they attack us. Because if they don't attack us with that last army, we're just going to sail off and let them whittle their way down through attrition. A slow and painful end, indeed. But if they do attack us, it'll provide a nice battle and a nice way to end them for good. And this can show, this can, this can be testament to what happens to people who turn on the Saxons. Turn on us! Suffer our wrath. If you have any advice tactics or otherwise of course to assist me please leave a comment on the video head over to the war council on the forums keep them keep those tips coming because they're very very useful and i'm enjoying reading them i do read every comment and i do take them into consideration when i'm making my plans anyway time for me to sign off goodbye for now join me next time